my dear students in the previous video i have started to solve the problems in the exercise 4.2 in the exercise 4.2 in the previous video we have solved first five problems in the exercise now in this video i am going to start the sixth problem in the exercise 4.2 The problem six is prove that the determinant g o a minus b minus a zero minus c b c g equal to zero. The determinant value is should be equal to zero. This should be proved by using the properties of determinants only. By using the properties of determinants, we have to solve the problem. For that, left hand side determinant, the left hand side determinant, I am going to multiply r one by c. Multiply R one by C. C into zero zero. C into A C A C. C into minus B minus B C. Second row as it is minus A zero minus C B C zero. Third row as it is left. Now again next step in the next step R one is R one minus B R two. You multiply the second row by B and then you subtract from R one and you write it in the row R one. R one is R one minus B R two, so minus B in T A minus A plus A B zero minus half minus plus A B therefore A B R one minus B R two minus B in T A is plus A B so A B so A C R one minus B in zero is minus zero therefore A C one here minus B C multiplying minus C by minus B. Plus B C minus B C plus B C zero like that R one minus B R two is zero plus A B A B zero plus A C is A C minus B C plus B C is zero because minus B into C is plus B C minus B C zero then then minus A zero minus C B C zero is right as it is now in the first row I am taking the common element A in the first row. Every element in the in, in the element zero itself, you multiply it by a. You consider zero is zero into a like that. In all the three elements in the first row, we have taken a outside. Therefore, I get a into b c zero. Second row minus a zero minus c. Third row is b c zero. This is equal a into the determinant value zero because r one and r three are identical. R one and R three are identical. Therefore, the determinant value is zero by the property. Therefore, zero into a is zero. Problem over. Next seventh problem in exercise. Prove that minus a squared a b a c b a minus b squared b c c a c b minus c squared equal to four a squared b squared c squared. This is the seventh problem in exercise. You will see that exercise problem now. <coughs> See in the left hand side determinant, I am taking a from common in the first row. I am taking first row common element a. Second row is you can take out the common element b. And in the third row, you can find common element c. You can take it outside. So in a determinant, if the rows or columns are multiplied by a constant, that constant can be taken out of the determinant and is a property. Using the property in the first row we have a common, second row we have b common, third row we have the element c common. Therefore, I am taking a b c outside. I get minus a b c. Second row, if I take b outside, a minus b c, and third row c outside. I get a b. Minus c squared. If you take one c, you will get minus c. So this is after taking a b c out of the determinant, you get a minus a b c b minus b c c a b minus c. 
if you take C common in the third row. Here also you can find A is common in the first row, B is the common element in the second column. In the first column you can find A. In the second column you can find B. In the third column you can find C as a common element. Again I am taking first A from the first column, I get A into A, A square. Second column B containing common, therefore B square. The third row you can get C common, you can take the outside, you will get C square. Equal to minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1. This is the value after taking A, B, C, O, C. And next, uh, R1 plus R2, you write R1 is R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2. R1 is R1 plus R2. And R2 is R2 plus R3. And R2 is R2 plus R3. You operate these two things. These two operations, you will get A square, B square, C square. R1 plus R2, minus 1 plus 1, 0. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. 1 plus 1, 2. Similarly, R2, R2 plus R3. Uh, you will get R3. This is this element will become 0, therefore R2 is R2 minus R3. R2 minus R3. R2 minus R3. One mi R2 minus R3. 1 minus 1. 0. Minus 1 minus 1. Minus 2. 1 minus of minus 1 plus 2. And the third row is this. You write as this 1. 1 minus 1. So this is equal to a square, b square, c square and you expand to the first column 1 into the determinant eliminating one row, one to the third column, third row and first column, 1 containing third row and first column, you will get 0, 2, minus 2, 2, the smaller determinant. So this is equal to a square, b square, c square, minus 1 into expanding the determinant, 0 into 2 is 0, minus 2 into minus 2, minus 4. Therefore, minus into minus plus 4 into 1 is 4. 4 a square, b square, c square, which is equal to right answer. 4 a square, b square, c square. That's all. This is the problem 7. This is problem number 7. Next, we will solve problem 8. In problem 8, uh, there are two subdivisions. First subdivision I am going to solve now. First subdivision prove that one A A square one B B square one C C square equal to A minus B into B minus C into C minus A. This is the problem. Now our one is in the left hand side expression, the left hand side determinant, you write R1 by R1 minus R1 minus R2. R1 minus R2. And R2, you write R2 minus R3. You write 
this cooperation. So you get 1 minus 1, 0, a minus b, a square minus b square. Similarly, 1 minus 1, 0, b minus c, b square minus c square. And third row 1, c, c square, a minus a. Now, a square minus b square, you know, a plus b in a minus b, you can edit as again 1 a minus b, this is a plus b in the a minus b. Factors of a square minus b square is a plus b in a minus b. Similarly, 0 b minus c, b square minus c square is b plus c into b minus c. Next, third call, third row, 1 c, c square. Again, in the first, mm, so in the first row, this is zero only, right? one minus one is zero. Zero m is b s m is b s b m is b. 0, b minus c, b plus c, b minus c, and 1. Now in the first row, I can find a minus b as a common term. Therefore, I am taking a minus b common from the first row. Similarly, second row, I can find b minus c as common. 0 containing b minus c, 0 and a minus b is a minus b is that. Therefore, if it is unknown, 0. We cannot bother about that. a minus b can be taken out. Similarly, b minus c is also can be taken out. It's from the second row. So now what do we get after that? 0, 1, a plus b. 0, 1, a plus b. Second row, 0, 1, b plus c. Third row, 1, c, c square. Again, R2 is R2 minus R3. R2. You can write it as R2 is R2 minus R1. Up then only it becomes 0. R2 minus R1. This 1 minus 1, 0 I will get. Therefore, R2 is R2 minus R1. Therefore, I get a minus b into b minus c as common terms. 0, 1, a plus b. Second r2, 0 minus 0. r2 minus r1 minus 1, 0. b plus c minus a minus, minus a minus b. b plus c minus a minus b, b, b cancel. You pick c minus c. Because r2 minus r1, r2 is b plus c. Minus r1 is a plus b. Therefore, B plus C minus A minus B. So, plus B minus B cancel, you will get C minus A only. Therefore, here B plus C minus A plus B is C minus A. And 1 C C square, that column. As it is, that row, you write it as it is. Now, expanding through the first column, as it well, A minus B into B minus C into 1 into Small determinant, one containing the third row and first column eliminated, you get one a plus b zero c minus c. So after expanding I get a minus b into b minus c into one into c minus a c minus a one into c minus a c minus a zero into a plus b is zero, therefore the answer. It is one into c minus a c minus c. This is 0, you need not write. Minus 0, you need not write. Therefore, a minus b, b minus c, c minus a is answer for the problem. 8. Subdivision 1. Okay. Now, <coughs> in the 8th problem, one more subdivision 8, second subdivision. 1. Let me see now. 
next. Before solving the eighth problem, second subdivision, I am going to solve one simple example in the exercise in the textbook. Example number ten. In the textbook, there is an example ten. Prove that this simple problem A, B, C, A plus two x, B plus two y, and C plus 2 is at x, y is at equal to 0. Here, you write A, B, C, right hand side A, determinant, A plus 2x, B plus 2y, C plus 2 is at x, y is at as. Since the second row elements are sum of two elements, therefore it can be expressed as sum of two determinants. That is A, B, C. A, B, C. X, Y, Z. By property, it can be split into two determinants. That is A, B, C. 2X, 2Y, 2Z. X, Y, Z. So it is simple. This determinant is zero because first row and second row are equal, therefore this is zero because R1 is identically equal to R2. First and second row are equal. Plus this determinant is also zero because second row is proportional to third row. That is C2 is equal to 2 times of C3. C2 is 2 times of C3. Proportional. Therefore, if the two rows are columns are proportional, the determinant value is zero, you know, the property, therefore zero plus zero is zero, answer is zero. So that's all about the example 10. And we will stop here. In the next video, we will continue the remaining problems. Thank you.